fifth graders, I'm Trent. In the fifth grade, you need to learn math concepts for many reasons. Concepts are big ideas. Understanding the big ideas will help you do well on the Ames test, get better grades in math, and prepare you for math classes in the future. Plus, it is fun to solve problems and use parts of your brain you have never used before. When I solve a challenging math problem, it makes me feel great. I know the more I learn now, the brighter my future is. My name is Alexis. Let's get on with the show. We hope you enjoy What the Big Idea. This year, you will continue to improve your number sense with whole numbers. An example of number sense is that you know that there are about 30 students in your class. Not 300, not 3,000, 30. That's pretty basic, Trent. This year, fifth graders will learn more about benchmark fractions. Understanding benchmark fractions will give us better fraction sense. Fractions, decimals, and percents are used every day in the real world. So we all need to become comfortable using and discussing values that are less than one whole. Before we talk about converting benchmark fractions to decimals and percents, let's bring in our talented MVP, Jonah, math vocabulary person. Thank you for that enthusiastic introduction, Trent. Let's look at the vocabulary words for today. Benchmark fractions, decimals, and percents. Benchmark fractions are the most famous and most used fractions in the world. These fractions often have single-digit numerators and denominators. You will see these fractions for the rest of your life. Decimals are written with the decimal point to show values less than one. Percents show a fraction and decimal value, with 100% being equal to one whole or one whole set. Once you get used to using fractions, decimals, and percents, you will see how the same value can be stated three different ways. For example, 1 tenth equals 0 0.1 and 10 percent. Thank you, MVP. The most famous benchmark fraction in the world is 1 half. 1 half is equivalent to the decimal of 5 tenths and 50 percent. Alexis, what is your favorite benchmark fraction? Thank you for asking. I like 1 fourth or 1 quarter, just like the coin. One fourth is equal to 25 hundredths. If you get one out of four correct on a quiz, you are in a grade of 25%. If I took a quiz and got three out of four questions right, I earned a grade of 75%, which is equal to three fourths or the decimal 0 0.75. You can use division to find the decimal value of a fraction, but it is better to memorize the decimal value of benchmark fractions. Hopefully you can memorize the most famous fractions and their equivalent decimal and percent values. See if you can fill out this chart on a piece of paper. If you finish this chart, see if you can think of and write down other fractions with their equivalent decimals and percents.
Just like memorizing and understanding math facts, if you can memorize and understand the value of benchmark fractions, you will be a better math student and be able to solve problems in less time. We use fractions, decimals, and percents in the real world all the time, so we might as well learn to be comfortable with them. Converting fractions to decimals and percents is an awesome skill to learn in fifth grade. What's the big idea? Benchmark fractions. Learning fifth grade math, big ideas, is awesome. We appreciate your attention and hope you like this video. Math rocks. For Trent and MVP Jonah, I'm Alexis. See you next time on What's the Big Idea?